In this video, let's learn about slot props. Now this again is a concept that is best understood with an example. So let's dive into the code straight away. I'm going to create a new file in the components folder. Let's call it name list.swelled. As the name indicates, the component is responsible for displaying a list of names in the UI. Let's implement this component. In the script section, I'm going to copy paste a list of names. Names, which is an array of objects. Each object has a first name and a last name. We have Bruce Wayne, Clark Kent and Princess Diana. Our next step is to bind these names to the markup. Since we have a list of names, we need to use the each block. So in the markup, add an each block. The source is names and in each iteration, we refer to the object as name and specify name as the unique key as well. Within the each block, I'm going to add an h3 tag rendering name.firstName and name.lastName. Now that the name list component is done, let's include it in app.swelled. Import it in the script block and add it to the markup. Let's also comment out the card component from the previous videos. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, we have the list of names being displayed. And what we have here is great. However, let's say we need to display the list of names in other parts of our application. In some pages, we might just have to display the first name and in other pages, we might have to display last name followed by first name. Basically, we want the parent component to control how the child component will render the content. I'm pretty sure you would have guessed by now, but this seems like a perfect use case to use slots. Let's go back to VS Code and make the changes. In namelist.swelt, instead of rendering first name followed by last name, let's add a slot in between the opening and closing tags with name is equal to hero. So this is a slot to render the hero name. Back in app component, let's specify the content for the slot. So instead of self-closing tag, we need the opening and closing tags for this name list component. In between the tags, we can specify the format the name should be rendered in. However, you might have realized that we have come across a problem. The name object in each iteration is present in the name list component. It is not present in the app component. So we need a way to send name as data to the parent component. And in Svelte, we use what is known as slot props to achieve that. It is pretty similar to props, but we are applying them on a slot within a component. The syntax is pretty simple. In nameless component, on the slot, we are going to add two props to send the first name and the last name to the parent component. For first name, add a prop called first name. And to the slot prop, we assign name.firstName. Similarly, let's add another slot prop called last name and assign name.lastName. Now that we are sending data to the parent, let's head over to app component and use these props. I'm going to add an h3 tag between the name list opening and closing tags. Now first, we need to indicate to Svelte that this template belongs to the slot in our name list component, for which we need the slot name. In our example, it is hero. So add the slot attribute and assign hero. Now, slot props for this slot can be obtained using the let directive. 
So on the h3 tag, let colon first name and let colon last name, which means as part of the h3 tag content, we can now bind first name followed by last name. I can also make a copy of this and render last name followed by first name or make another copy and render just the first name. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that the list of names are being displayed as expected. In each of the three cases, we have Bruce Wayne Clark Kent Princess Diana. We have Wayne Bruce Kent Clark and Diana Princess. And finally, just Bruce Clark and Princess. In each of the three cases, the logic to render a list of names is the same. But the way we display the list of names is now controlled by the parent component through slots, which as you can see, gives us more flexibility in the way we display the data. To summarize about slot props, in the child component on the slot tag, pass some data to the parent component. In the parent component, use the let directive. This gives you access to the slot props for that particular slot, which you can then use to structure the template as you want to. With that, we come to the end of the discussion about slots in Svelte. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.